So I'm spending the summer in Michigan and I've decided to take a bike tour around the northern half of Lake Michigan. So today I'm leaving Elk Rapids, which is the town that I spent a lot of my childhood years in and um, starting to go south and I'll keep you posted as I, as I go along the trip. Good morning.
Nekama, Michigan, where I've stopped to uh, check into a motel for the night because, believe it or not, it's supposed to storm this afternoon and tonight, and there was all these reports of big thunderstorms. But uh, you can see from from this video that it's just a gorgeous day out. I'm sitting on the beach of Portage Lake, which is the lake that Oneka is uh, on. It's a lake that opens up to Lake Michigan, so you see a little gap out there. Maybe you can see it or not. A little gap out there in the um, trees where the lake goes out to Lake Michigan, so you can have a boat on this lake and then take it out to Lake Michigan. But anyway, the motel that I'm staying at is right over my shoulder. It's a great little place. They have this beach right across the street where a lot of people are going to come out and watch the sun sunset. So I'm looking forward to being in a hotel tonight. I stayed um, last night at uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes, a campground called DH Day Campground. Well, it turns out they have a really bad um, bear infestation, and so you had to do all these things to um, account for the bears. And, um, every the ranges require everything to be locked in your car. Well, I don't have a car, so um, so they gave me these these bear boxes, which are these plastic jugs that I had to put my food and anything that was had a scent on it in there. And um, and they gave me two of them because I had so much stuff that had to go in there. And then even to be even more of a precaution, I hung them up in a tree so that they were above the, the ground. But anyway. It was hard to get any sleep last night because, sorry the wind is getting really bad here. You probably can't even hear what I'm saying because the wind is howling. You can see it. The surf is just outrageous. But anyway, throughout the night, um, I guess people that have, that camp a lot where there's a lot of bears have air horns to scare bears away from their campsite. So seven or eight times during the night, people were blaring these air horns to, to keep to scare the bears away from their sight. So obviously there were bears in the campground, and I was just laying in my tent thinking, well, when are they going to get to my site? Because I'm not sure that I've taken care of everything the way it was supposed to be taken care of. So it was just a stressful evening, and tonight I'm looking forward to a pleasant night in a hotel room bed whether it storms or not. But with the wind picking up like this, I guess the storm probably is coming. Anyway, it's the end of day two. 
Um, I'm doing great. Um, I'm extending my the range of my legs a bit. The first day was 68 miles. Today was 52 miles. Again, I've been pushing myself maybe into the 40 to 50 mile range, so I'm pushing it a little further. So I'm looking forward to completing this no northern half of the Lake Michigan Circle. So see ya.
Thank mm-hmm. you.